Hi everyone, my name is Shauna, in case you don't know, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Harry Potter LGBTQ plus headcanons. In case you are new to the fandom world, headcanons are essentially like things that you wish were true about the series. Like, let's take Steve and Bucky from Marvel, for example. A lot of people headcanon that Steve and Bucky aren't straight and that they're a couple. Like, that's a headcanon. It's not necessarily a ship, it's like something that you like more firmly believe in your head that it's a headcanon. Canons are things that are true in the fandom world and headcanons are ones that aren't true but that you sort of like wish were true, that you sort of like believe are true. A lot of people take these headcanons and like make fan fiction of them and stuff like that. It's sort of a hard concept to explain but hopefully as I get along in this video you will get a better grasp of what headcanons are. So yes, all of these headcanons will be LGBTQ plus related and it will be revolving around Harry Potter. These are gonna be about the characters specifically. So I would say that it's not necessarily strictly movie or strictly book related, but the characters as a whole. And no, none of these are actually canon in the book because honestly, the author probably would never have made any of her characters LGBTQ plus. I mean, Dumbledore is technically, but she shoved that on last minute and people accused her of queer baiting. So I think that she's a wimp and she wouldn't do these for any of the characters if she were to write another book. So this video is probably gonna be really controversial, but let's crack on into this. First up, I'm gonna be talking about the wonderful and quirky Luna Lovegood. Everybody loves Luna Lovegood. She is such an amazing character. However, I don't think she's straight and cisgender like what she is in the books. In the Harry Potter universe, Luna Lovegood officially ends up marrying one of Newt's commanders like kids. And I just like don't vibe with that. I feel like if you were gonna put her with anyone from the original Harry Potter series, it should have been with Neville, but that didn't happen. So my headcanons for Luna is that first of all that she's non-binary. I do use the pronouns she, her for Luna because those are canon in the book, but I feel like Luna would definitely be non-binary, meaning she would use they them pronouns. She wouldn't identify as male or female. I just really feel that that really fits Luna and her personality really well. Now granted the author would never do that because the author is transphobic, but to me Luna would be non-binary and Luna would also be panromantic asexual, which means she doesn't feel sexual attraction and she is attracted to all genders but she's attracted to their personality first before their gender. I just feel like that's what it is for Luna. Like Luna doesn't have any clear like romantic attractions to people in the series but I feel like Luna could easily just like fall in love with anyone in the series and just like very slowly like bring on her romantic attractions and I can't like imagine Luna feeling sexual attraction really. So that's what Luna is to me. Luna is non-binary, panromantic, and asexual. My next headcanon is that Harry Potter is bisexual. Now technically this could work because Harry was only with girls in the series, but he easily could have been with guys too. I really personally like him with Draco, but I feel like he would definitely be bisexual. I feel like with some of the characters, especially Harry, when they look up to like some of the boys are like a year or two older, I feel like it's definitely more like a crush than just like, oh, you're so amazing. And that's what I feel like with Harry. My next two head cannons, I'm gonna clump them together when I say this and they're sort of influenced by my friend who goes by Charlie's Dragon Egg I think or just Charlie's Dragon on social media. I will link her social media down in the description below but I feel like Charlie Weasley and I feel like Percy Weasley would be aromantic and asexual. They don't really show any like super strong romantic stuff in the series and I don't really picture them having any attractions towards people. Now technically Percy like I think dated was it Penelope Clearwater? But I like felt like that was sort of shoved in there and didn't really fit him. But they're definitely aromantic asexual to me, especially Charlie. Charlie's like really obsessed with dragons and like that is satisfying for Charlie. That is his purpose and his joy in life. And he doesn't need any sort of person to satisfy him or make him happy. He doesn't need any kids to make him happy because he has dragons. And similarly with Percy, I feel like Percy is satisfied with work and I don't really think he needs someone to make him happy and I don't really feel like he feels that attraction towards people. My next headcanon is probably going to be my most controversial headcanon and that is that Hermione is transgender and pansexual. You know how Hermione is like the head of Spew? She really vocalizes what she believes in and her thoughts. I feel like she'd be doing that with transgender and LGBTQ plus rights in general. I feel like she would be having signs that says like trans rights and then marching in parades and protests and stuff. I feel like she's just that type of person to do that. Part of the reason why I have a headcan that Hermione is trans is because the problematic author has said that Hermione was based off of herself. So therefore, because the author's transphobic, if I headcan and Hermione is trans, in my brain it's like a big 
big F you to the author of the series so that's part of the reason too but I also like have had these like cute ideas like of Hermione coming out as trans and Ron being like so accepting and not afraid at all to be a dating someone who's trans like that just seems so cute and I have like the idea running in my head a lot I've considered writing fan fictions for it too now the reason why I had canon Hermione as pansexual is because I also have like a headcanon that Pansy is bisexual and that Hermione and Pansy like dated like that's one of my headcanons and the reason why is another one that's just a F you to the author is that the author said that Pansy Parkinson is based off of all the bullies that she dealt with in school. Now since the author is a bully herself and the author invalidates trans people, doesn't actually listen to logic and reasoning, and I feel like the biggest F you that I can give to the author is headcanoning Hermione as trans and having Hermione and Pansy be in a relationship. It is just perfect to me and I really want to write a fan fiction where those two are a couple in the future. My next two headcanons are that both Draco and Ron are bisexual. For Ron, Ron seemed like he had a really big crush on Victor Crumb in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, so I feel like he definitely is bisexual or at least biromantic. And for Draco, it's because I ship Drary so much, but Draco has had interest in females, at least in the series. I mean, it could be that Draco is gay. That is another valid headcanon that I completely like and agree with. I just sometimes feel like I should feel like he's bisexual because he is dating girls and stuff, but I feel like Draco definitely could be gay. Now I'm almost done with my video. I have just two more headcanons that have to do with Curse of Child. Scorpius and Albus definitely are a couple in the future. Like, Curse of Child doesn't cover every single year of their life. They're definitely gonna be a couple. They have so much chemistry with each other. I feel like Albus is gay, and I feel like Scorpius is probably bi or pan. Scorpius does have that, like, interest in Rose. It was sort of cute, and I do see some, like, chemistry there. I do see that he really likes Rose. So I feel like they would be a couple in the future, no matter what the author says. And I feel like they both aren't straight. Like, they definitely are not. So yeah, these were all my Harry Potter LGBTQ plus headcanons. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'll have a playlist link down in the description below with all of my other Harry Potter videos because I love Harry Potter. I love talking about Harry Potter all the time on my channel. I upload videos three times a week, so I will see you next Monday for my next video. I hope all of you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!